right, I'm here. <laughs> oh boy, this is feeling very strange. Uh, right, so... Okay, good. The drawing pad is working. Just... Give me just a quick second. Okay, yeah, pressure sensitivity works too. Good. <laughs> Hi Lottie, how you doing today? Yep, art stream for the first time. <laughs> oh, this feels very weird having my mic in my face while looking down at my drawing pad. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have no idea how good this is gonna be. Like, what this is like? Is this gonna be laggy or not? Like. I have no idea how good I can stream drawing at the same time as streaming. Anyway, I hope the music isn't too loud or too quiet or anything. I've just got like a song from Horizon just playing on loop because I didn't know what else to put on and I didn't want it to just be just dead silent. You're doing good, bit headachey and coughing, but gotta finish mum's gift off. So you're stitching whilst watching me do art. <laughs> nice. I hope that's going well, and I hope you feel better soon. Love the horizon vibes, levels sounding great. Okay, good to hear, thank you. Alright, so... I'm gonna try drawing a... Descendant slash Paradox form of Claude Sire. Um as if it lived in an area with lots of lava in it, so... Yeah. This should be interesting. Uh, I don't know how chatty I'm gonna be during the stream. I'll try to keep as, like, talkative as possible, but I know that I sometimes get a bit quiet because I'm, like, focusing quite hard. <laughs> Such a cool idea. Thank you. I don't know, like Paradox Pokemon I have like mixed feelings about. Uh, I don't know, it just feels weird how... Uh, Where's the cursor is so yeah I like to label my layers as I go <laughs> like paradox Pokemon I was quite excited that they were gonna be like genuine like ancestors of like multiple Pokemon like uh brain work <laughs> Oh my god, doing this and talking and drawing at the same time is not going to be easy, is it? Uh, like, they were going to be, like, genuine ancestor Pokemon, like... Like, Great Tusk being, like, the ancestor of, like, Copperaja and Donphan. Like, I was thinking that sort of thing could have been really cool, but it seems like they're not really going for that. And along with the fact that all of the future Paradox Pokemon are just robotified versions of their normal form, so... Yeah. But I do like the idea of make, having them do something that is kind of like nonsensical. So I don't know, I feel like a Clod Sire, which seems like it's a very swamp, like Pokemon, like it lives in the mud. Like, it living in lava would be a bit weird. <laughs> so yeah, just throwing out something and then see what I can do with it. Right, so I usually start by like having like a reference here and then using like the pencil. Oh, I don't want a uh, correction. Using the pencil for like, uh, fuck's sake, <laughs> the crayon for like just sketching the outline. 
So, for it to be a descendant of Claude Sire, I was thinking it would be like. It's like a Claude Sire that is so relaxed in lava that it's like. It doesn't maintain its own shape somehow. Uh, like it's so relaxed. That it's just so relaxed that even its bones relax, sort of thing, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, so on this mood board that I've got going here, um, I've also got like Grimer and Muck on here as like kind of inspiration for that. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, Grimer and Muck have like a bit of a wavy thing here, so are you gonna name it something different too? Uh, I was thinking the name Blob Sire. <laughs> B-L-O-B-S-I-R-E. Like I've got it up here. I don't know if that's actually readable. Is that readable? Like I've got it up here. It says Blob Sire Mood Board. So... Like something like this, maybe? Turn down the transparency a little bit more. It's like taking its feet and making it a bit less rounded and a bit more blob like. Uh, oh, I'm turning the transparency back up. Alright, so. Yeah, you're gonna have to excuse me. This is, I've been, oh God, I feel, I feel a little bit pressured, honestly, to draw this like good, cause I'm like, oh God, I've got people look watching me. <laughs> right, so yeah, so big waves like that. Something like that for like Blob Sire's feet. Uh, right, so how am I gonna make this look? Hmm. Oh, uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, boy. <laughs> See, I wanted to maintain the general quagsire. Uh, Quagsire, blob sire shape. Oh, okay, turn up the correction. Like that. Like so. I want to get rid of that there. It drips like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be very back and forth looking at Grimer and Muck here, aren't I? Maybe I could just use like right I could use like their body here and uh, I feel like this part here looks good well, actually it kind of lines up quite well with it's like front foot here fits perfectly with its foot and its mouth too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 
Except this foot, like, back here is behind Claude Sire, so... I think I might want to stretch this out a bit. But not quite that much. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of its feet just a second. Actually, just... There we go. Get rid of that. Alright, start over a little bit. So... Alright, so... Lobbiness. So yeah, that's your back, and so like, let's get like an area of like a base here, so I need the, <laughs> right, turn that up. Hmm, okay, well that's a good start, but... So like this section right here could like go over his foot. So like something like that. Like it's kind of like his blobbiness is kind of like going over his feet, but his feet are like sticking out a little bit. Like that maybe. This foot is a little way too big. <laughs> So let's shrink that back down. Okay, I think that's looking good. Hmm. So, oh. I just got a text saying that my eye test is due. <laughs> Well, I'm a bit I'm busy right now. You're gonna have to wait for later. So, what else have you got going on? You've got like an extra like layer of blob there. So, well, Claude Sire like well, oops. Blob Sire like there. His eyes go there. He has like his two little dots for his nose. And his mouth, I was thinking like, well, I was thinking like, oh, he looks a bit, he looks a bit too sad. Like, something like, like I want to make, like, I had the idea that he kind of looks like so unnaturally relaxed and in like utter bliss. So like, Uh, that looks very weird, <laughs> especially without the color, like the dark brown up here and the light brown down here. I don't know. Well, either way, that's the placement of his like eyes, nose, and mouth. So. I feel like given his blobbiness, you wouldn't actually see his right foot back here, so... But like, a bump for it would be okay. Hmm... I feel like that's actually looking decent when you get rid of like, Claude Sire himself. Like, just looking at that, that actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, but this is getting a bit too sunken, so... Hmm... Maybe this is a bit too sticky out. So, like... Uh... That's a bit too small. 
So like this could be his upper foot, it's like sticking out the other side. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Hello Stein, how are you doing today? You just scared the life out of me. Uh, I still feel like that foot isn't done right. Loud you take it. <laughs> Not loud, just sudden. Like I'm... Everything feels so quiet right now. And then all of a sudden... Nah, nah! <laughs> uh, so I feel like again maybe this is a, still a bit too sticky out. Like stick it out like that. Hmm. Kind of bored at the moment. Oh no. Well, hopefully this stream can be a little bit of entertainment, even though it's going to be quite chilled out. I think. <laughs> Right, so I think like I need to make like this like extra line here, like along somewhere. Like <coughs> something like that. Hmm. He's kind of giving him like a little bit of older man vibes with like wrinkles under the eye. Hmm. I feel like these lines aren't really in the right place though. So... I feel like they need to be a bit lower down. Like... Oh my god, I just drew a mustache on him, didn't I? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to draw a mustache on him. <laughs> he's already looking so relaxed. Yeah, now he's got a mustache. What the heck, I'll keep that there. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, I feel like this foot is a bit too high up. Uh like maybe if I like take this move it down there a bit and then adjust everything accordingly like that sort of hmm Right, so he hasn't I haven't done anything with his tail yet. I was thinking like with Claude Sire's spines, like the spines that come out here. This is so weird how I'm actually able to point <laughs> to like indicate like what I'm talking about. Um But yeah, like his like spines would be like kind of like volc like little tiny fin volcanoes on his back with his like fin like along his tail becoming a flame like a fin made of flame kind of like what i got here for hence why i've got infernape here so yeah so um all right i'll just draw no no i won't so his tail goes here it needs to look blobby. Blobby tail. So... Something like this, perhaps? Yeah, that looks good. Like a blobby... bottom side to the tail with like a nice smooth top. I'm so creative, that's a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just trying to think of like, you know, like Claude Sire has his spines here. So I was like, what can I do with those? I could just have them like covered in flames, but no, like, 
Like the fact that this is a paradox Pokemon, it's meant to be a little bit like nonsensical. Uh, this needs to be a bit more rounded. There we go. And a bit of blobbiness along the tail. Yeah. So, I feel like that's looking good. That's a good start, right? So far. <laughs> this looks very weird. Although, I'm looking at his tail, actually. It looks like it shouldn't be that high up. Like, it looks like he's holding it up. Hmm. Like, if I just, like, grab it and... Uh, oh, like that. Uh, dear, I'm kind of running out of room on this side. So, like... Rather than like have it holding up like that, make it a bit more vertical. Like that. I feel like I need to grab the whole thing and kind of just move it just along a little bit. There you go, so there was a little room over there. Oh my god, he's looking like it's looking like it's some sort of like chocolate like melty fudge thing right now. <laughs> Ooh, fudge. That's actually kind of a nice name for a Cloud Sire. Oh yeah, the image isn't lined up anymore. So... Yeah, there we go. Right. So... Hmm. This is going better than I was expecting, honestly, so far. Uh, right, so I don't want that anymore. Yeah, the, the fin is still there, so... Uh, hmm. I feel like I should leave the flames for now, because the flames are kind of weird. Fudge the blob sire. Yep. <laughs> I suppose that will be his nickname if I ever caught him then. His name would be Fudge. Even though I feel like when you add the colours, like I'm thinking he would have like, you know, like, you know, red, yellow, orange kind of colours. Maybe like a little bit of grey or black in there because of like, um, what's it called? Basalt? I think it's called. Like the rock around volcanoes tends to be... Like, you know, very, like, greys and blacks in colour. Right, so I could have a try the volcanoes, but this is going to be interesting. I don't really have a... Uh, how many spines does Claude Sire have? He has six. Three on each side. So I could make, like... Let's get a new layer. Sketch work oh, volcanoes. So, yeah, so I was thinking like one kind of like Mega Camera Ups where it's like quite tall but thin with like lava like dribbling down his body. <laughs> so. Hmm. How tall? About like. Two thirds of his body, so um, not there. Where are the dots exactly? Oh, they're right there. Okay. So uh... And they get progressively smaller, so... I feel like they'll... I feel like, hmm... Maybe like... Was, hmm... <laughs> huh... This is interesting. <laughs> Hello, Rope Man. How are you doing today? <laughs> Come to far up a storm. <laughs> of 
course you have. Uh, right, so... Hmm. I feel like I should Have you grab, no moral like... fiber?! <laughs> right, I feel like I'm gonna grab these spines and... Use them as a bit of a reference here. Especially this, the largest one. Oh, chain. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Ah. Right. Right, so. <laughs> good morning. Uh, no, good afternoon, rope man. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sticking with the ads. They really do support me, so... Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Uh, okay, let's leave that there. Make it transparent. Not too transparent, though. So something like this. Or like volcano spines. You have a love-hate relationship with ads, <laughs> but you like me, so here I am. <laughs> Thank you, Rope Man. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not really in your streams, like, very often, but you seem to stream, like, very late in the day for me, when I'm not really available, so... <laughs> But I do try to come in if I see you online and I've got some time. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for a lot of people that stream quite late that I want to, like, stop by and say hi in, but... The times just are not very convenient for me. Hmm. I feel like this spine that I've got here could do a bit of, like, adjustment. No apologies necessary. We are all in this together. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding. Did I want help saying a Seri ball after stream to say when ads are happening? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, um... Yeah, I'll... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> yes, I would like to look into sorting that out. Um, Lottie. <laughs> so yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. I'll try to remember after stream, I'll message you about that. You're already quite impressed. I stopped by my- I stopped by yours some of the time. <laughs> Uh, I do try, but it's just like late in the evening for me is like when I'm just, you know, having dinner, just chilling out, just watching TV most of the time, like not at the computer. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a poor excuse, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Right, so... Right, back on track. So, volcano spines. Thinking maybe just one on each side, maybe? Like the spines have kind of merged? Hmm. Or at least maybe like down from three to two on each side? Right, so, and then this one would be significantly smaller. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I think about this. Any more word on the computer arriving? 
<laughs> the next restock is this Friday, so hopefully I will be like first in line to get the next... Get my computer in the next restock. Besides that, no, nothing. Yeah, I'd really like to get that new computer. Alright, so how am I gonna do this one? Like, I'm honestly kind of second guessing these spines. Like, hmm. I feel like the whole volcano thing, like, doesn't entirely make sense. Hmm. Like I'm kind of looking at him and thinking like the flaming fin would probably be enough because I don't want it to be too like complicated because Clod Sire here has a very simple design and I don't want to make it just too many decorations so maybe uh so yeah maybe just leave out the volcanoes for now I could always go back and change my mind but yeah I think I'll leave them for now so oh yeah I should probably save <laughs> uh let me just uh, hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, it doesn't actually bring up my, um, folder. Right. So... Blob, Sire, Unflattened. Right. There we go. <laughs> uh, right, so if I'm not going to do the volcanoes, then I'll do the fin. So. Just grab Infernape's flame, bring it over. Alright, so. Hmm. Flames aren't, don't really need like an exact shape, so this is going to be a very rough guide. Using that sweet, sweet Twitch money on a new rig. <laughs> I guess you could potentially think of it that way. <laughs> Sorry, I've been looking at chat, have I? Yeah, it seems like everyone is sick right now, except me. <laughs> not complaining, I'm happy to not be sick. But yeah, I just feel bad that everyone seems to be sick. Also, I noticed that my avatar is kind of above the chat. And it shouldn't be. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. Where's chat? Oh, chat's here. Okay, chat's way, t way too high up on OBS. There we go. Yeah, I hope the music isn't too loud or too quiet. Because I actually can't hear the music that is playing on stream myself. I've just got the same song on loop playing on my phone. Hopefully quiet enough that the microphone can't hear it. But it's loud enough that I can hear it. Just so I've got something to listen to as well. Gonna lurk while you go home. No problem, Stein. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Alright, so... Let's 
sketchwork flame thin. Oh, flame thin, not flame fun. So, like, no. Uh, actually, I'm not really sure Infernape's Flame is the, really the best thing here, because it's like, hmm, maybe if I just do it with, like, more, like, hmm. Cold Sire's Fin is not very big, so I feel like the flame should be quite small as well. Uh, Alright, so... Like something like that for a flame. Uh, get rid of that. Wait. I do get rid of keep that, and then it's like flames go like this. And then kind of like get shorter as they like go over the horizon of Cold Sire's tail. Something like that. Maybe the flame should be a bit more along here too. God, flames are hard to draw. So yeah, something like that. Just like a rough idea of what flames look like. Oh! Alright, sorry I got interrupted. Uh, Alright, so the flames... Like... Like, that's like the boundary of the flames right there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's all right now. Okay, so what else is there? Yeah, there's quite. Uh, there's Blobs. Claude, sire. Hmm. I do also have like the two whooper down here just in case I decided to also draw like a blob sire whooper. Yeah. I feel like, hmm. Like I'm kind of like looking at a uh, blob sire and thinking like maybe it needs like some of these like rocks on it. Like just like a couple of rocks just like dotted on its back. Just so it's got something there, because it feels like the flames aren't really enough. It needs like just a little bit of something else. Blob Sire Whooper. <laughs> yeah, like I might draw that, like depending on how this goes. So. So I'll just draw like a bit of an indistinct shape. There and here for the rocks. Just so we've got something there. So yeah, I feel like that's quite good. I'll draw just like another one there and another one there. Yeah. Okay, I think that's looking decent. Yeah. Okay, save. So, let's see if I can get some line work going. 
switch over to the pen. Right, so... Look at that face. <laughs> Him and his mustache. He, the rocks are like a cool pattern there. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like... Like, Lotsire does have the, like, spots where his spines come out, but yeah, it could just be that rocks kind of, like, take the play, take their place. Uh, I'm just gonna move that a bit more, like, closer. Ooh. Yeah, like, yeah, like, they're just, like, lined along his back, not, like, going onto his sides too much. Alright, so let's get back to line work. I don't need that reference anymore. So yeah, like that. Do I have any... Oh, I do have the flames there. So, oh. Sorry, I actually bumped the mic. <laughs> also, I'm kind of shrimping. <laughs> oh, that's a problem when you're doing like any sort of artwork like this. You always end up shrimping. <laughs> Water would be nice. <laughs> I literally just took a drink, and I guess now I'm taking another one. <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, wrong layer. And give him his like beady little eyes. Actually no, I don't want his eyes to be perfectly black. Like that was a tactic, like a technique that I learned like in my like Pretty much self-taught art skill is, except with the exception of outlines, you don't want to use like true black and true white. So yeah, make his eyes like just slightly off black, and it, pro it probably isn't having much of an effect here, but like I have drawn other things that it really does make a difference. Oh, sorry, I just whacked the microphone again. <laughs> anyway, so let's start with his feet. It's like his feet are like one of the few like solid shapes. Like that. There was like toe lines. Around here and oh, hang on, I wasn't done. Around here, two lines again. Right, so hmm. Right, so. Let's start here. And draw reasonably smooth, like around his head. Okay, now's where the lines are gonna get a bit more wobbly. He's so relaxed, even his skeleton is just like not completely like holding in together anymore. <laughs> okay. Connect that line. Draw his other foot. Uh, that's not quite right. Uh, it's still not quite right. Uh, hmm. 
I feel like it's not the foot that's wrong, it's this that's wrong. So... Oop. So like... Like that, sort of? Hmm. I feel like this is kind of, a, kind of an awkward area, isn't it? Well, I'll leave it just for now. In the meantime, let's get his tail drawn. Okay. Okay. Fire. So the line of the fire goes on here. And then it kind of melds with the line, the outline of his tail. Didn't draw that very well. Okay, and now I just tidy up this line a little bit. So it's a bit more of a smoother transition. There we go, that looks better. Alright, I'll be ignoring the fire just for now, because you don't draw I don't draw fire with like a traditional outline like that. And now these rocks, which I want to give a bit more of a rocky look, so I draw like this. Like I purposely like like this is kind of how I draw rocks. Is like I draw very slowly and purposely, like wobbling my hand as I go to give like the rocks like a bit more of a rough texture. Unless it's meant to be like a you know a smooth rock. There. This probably looks weird like up close, but like zoomed out, this will probably look a lot better. Like going around slowly and bumpily. Yeah, I'm no professional artist. <laughs> I just, I'm pretty much completely self taught and just had a lot of practice. Yeah, they do look a bit weird, but it probably would look better when there's, you know, color and stuff. So, punk rock. Hmm? Punk rock? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> like the music? Drew this one like a weird shape. With like a megaphone a little bit on its side. <laughs> I'm wondering if this would look better with like size three outlines. I'll draw these three with size three outlines just to see if that looks a little bit better. Ooh. Because I were describing it as rough, so you were like, oh my god, that is so punk rock. <laughs> really? I'm just describing a rock's texture and like, you know, some rocks are like really smooth. But these rocks I'm imagining are probably quite rough and like bumpy. Is that quite punk rock? <laughs> this looks like a weird Pac-Man one. Uh, mm, no, I think I'm going to stick with the size 7. Yeah, so let's just go around these again. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm completely self-taught with art. Like, I've n besides, like, you know, just basic art school, like, uh, art school? <laughs> like, art class in school, which I kind of hated, honestly, because the teachers, like, were always like, you have to draw things this way, you have to draw things that way, do it this way, use these tools, and I'm just like, but when I like drawing, I like drawing digital art. Well, that's just me. At the time I hadn't actually tried it because, you know, drawing pads weren't really a thing so much back when I was in school. Yeah, I get what they were trying to do, but it was just like, yeah, that's not my style. Yeah, I've just been, like, you know, trying out things I could think of, see how they look, see what works, what doesn't work. And just came up with my own style, essentially. So glad I found my own style and stuck with it. <laughs> Thank you. Like, really, uh, all, the only thing I really do is just, like, you know... In Medibang, at least, size 7 is for, like, you know, harsh outlines that, like, really, like, show, like, how something is separate from... You know, these rocks are, like, meant to, like, really, like, stand out from Blobsire's skin and not blend with it. Whereas these little, like, size 3 lines are, like, it's actual, like, just cheeks being, like, oh. I don't know, like I'm pushing my face up so my cheeks are like slightly covering my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really think I'm the best at describing. Like these lines are just like slight folds in like Claude Sire's skin. So they get like a size free line to make them not stand out quite as harshly. I don't know, I feel like art is like such like a feel thing, like you just get the hang of it by doing it like over years of practice and to be honest I don't think I'm really that good. Like I have to use a lot of references like whenever I'm drawing. <laughs> like you literally saw like I was tracing around Claude Sire here. So, but you butted your own style and stuck with it. I butted my own style indeed. Um, that spot. Thank you for noticing. I feel like I need to like have like extra lines down here. Like that. Just to like help give him that like blobbiness that I'm going for. It might be a bit too much on the tail, actually. I feel like just like two on the chin like this are probably enough. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that looks decent. Get rid of the sketch marks. Yeah, I think that's going well so far. Right, flames. Right, so how's this gonna go? Oh, I don't want a folder. I wanted an extra layer. So, line work. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> flames. Uh, right, so. Uh, how do f what do flames look like? Like they got like a red base and a yellow outer cone thing. Running out of some thread. Oh no. <laughs> Is it like really important, like specific thread, or can you use something else potentially? 
I'm just using my phone to look up a picture of a flame. Like... Uh, right. Yeah, it looks like it's... Oh, actually, cartoon depictions of it often show it with, like, a white-yellow inside and a red outside. Uh, I want a real flame. <laughs> Okay, it does look like the flame tends to be like white and yellow on the inside and then red on the outside or more orange. Okay. Because you're following a pattern, kind of need the same ones, but you get some more when you're a bit better. Okay, well, that's not too bad then. Hopefully, they won't be out of stock or anything. So if I'm doing like the outline of the flame, uh, I want to use a bit more orange. I feel like I'm probably not going to use red in this design. Uh, all right. So yeah, let's do it thin. Make it like quite wavy lines, you know. Flames are not straight lines at all. So. Uh, wait. Send down like this. Okay, this one goes up there. This one then comes down here. Okay, this is like a weird spot where like everything kind of bends around. <laughs> All right, so if I just do it like this and then just keep going like this. Over Clod Sire's big blob, uh, blob Sire's blobby tail. smaller and smaller because they're going over the horizon of his tail and they're just like a little tiny one just there okay that is okay that is on the right layer phew <laughs> so with that I will just turn that off turn that off and do a bit of colouring in. So get a bit closer. <laughs> Here's one of the most like relaxing parts if you ask me, is actually like doing the colouring in like this. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to use like the fill bucket to just skip this part, but I quite like doing this part like manually. Right, I'm also thinking I'm probably going to swap out this orange for like a bit more of a darker, like ready orange, but I can do that in just a minute. It's very peaceful. <laughs> yeah, this is my first stream doing a doing something that's not a game. So yeah, I wasn't too sure how this was going to be. I was kind of worried that like it would be like horrifically laggy, like my computer wouldn't be able to handle it. But no, it seems like it's going just fine. At least it seems to be. Does it look laggy at all? Yeah, like also the first time I've actually got like perp like background music on purposefully so I had no idea how loud or quiet I wanted it to be especially with the fact that I can't actually hear the music that is playing on stream 
Like I said, it's just got I've just got it on my phone, like playing next to me on loop. So I'm listening to the same song, but I'm probably not hearing the same part of the song as is actually playing. <laughs> I'm just looking at the um like the sound waves on OBS and I can see that my voice is like like at the very like top of the green, bottom of the yellow, and the music is about halfway through the green. So didn't want it to be <coughs> Hello Sven, how you doing today? <laughs> but yeah, I wanted it to be like soft in the background, but since I couldn't hear it, I was just like, right, I'll just go with that and just hope people in chat can just confirm if it's too loud or too quiet. Art hype pro streamer. <laughs> if you insist, Sven, if you insist. <laughs> is okay, is that a Pokemon? Yeah, I'm drawing like um like a relative of Claude Sire. Like if it lived in the world of Horizon in um the burning shores. So like it like relaxes in the lava and stuff. And I know it's Pokemon, so a lot of things in Pokemon don't make sense, but like Paradox Pokemon in Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon, I feel are a bit like meh to me. Cause they're just I don't know, like I was hoping for like actual like ancestors or descendants. What or... Nice. Of living Pokemon. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate, Sven. Oh uh, yeah, I should probably save. <laughs> Yeah, like I was hoping for like genuine like ancestor Pokemon, like common ancestors between similar Pokemon. Like Great Tusk is clearly the meant to be the ancestor of Donphan, but it would have been nice if it was also the common ancestor of other elephant Pokemon, like Hopperaja. But it isn't, so yeah. Obviously with descendants, they'd be of just a single species. I feel like you need a bit more fire on you, honestly. Like, it doesn't reach quite high enough. Oh, that's the colouring thing. I don't know, I'm just doing like my own like weird take on Paradox Pokemon with Blobsire in particular just being like from a future of an of a whole different franchise. So it's like why is that in the Pokemon world? <laughs> yeah, this could be like another thing I could do every once in a while. Especially since it seems like it's going quite well. I was kind of doing this as a test to see if, like, I could stream this. Um, because, like, for my Pokemon Day 100th stream, I was thinking of doing some drawing, but I wasn't sure if my current computer could handle it. Since it looks like there's a chance I might not get my new computer in time. So if so it would be better for me to find out now that I can't do it, so I can plan around it. Then, um... <sighs> then find out at in the middle of like a 27 hour long stream that I can't do it. <laughs> right, 
So I want to adjust this color. The orange to a bit more of a ready orange. So I think that's more or less the exact same. Something like this. Twenty four seven Molly, woo. <laughs> I will have to sleep in it though, so I will like be <laughs> funnily enough playing Pokemon Sleep while streaming. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have like a webcam or something pointing at uh my phone <laughs> while I'm playing Pokemon Sleep while actually sleeping. So I don't know what that's going to be like. Like I was thinking, should I like set up a bed in the office so I'm actually sleeping next to Pokemon Sleep and when I wake up I will be right there by the computer and ready to go and you can hear me being like, Ugh, good morning everyone. <laughs> I'm so bloody tired, but I gotta wake up and stream, like something like that. But I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to do it, because I like my bed. <laughs> and my actual bed is not gonna fit in the office, it's way too cramped in here. But I do have like a guest bed, like one of those fold-up beds that will definitely be able to fit. Yeah, so, I don't know. I might just give it a try, but be open to letting myself go back to actual bed if I need to. Uh, I'm noticing the, the line work here. There's a car alarm going by outside. I got going off outside. I do apologize if you can hear that. Right, so. There's like meant to be a little piece of like outline of his tail peeking through the flames. Not that high. Something like this. Flames are looking good, <laughs> thank you. Also, I just noticed I've got the color fil filter on the Elga. Um, wait, do I have the color filter going on? Or is it just the difference? No, I don't have the color filter on because it's not the Elgato. I feel like it's just different like how my drawing tablet and my computer monitor are displaying colors, but the colors look different. Like, compared to my drawing tablet and what I'm seeing, like, on the feed on OBS, which is on my uh, main monitor. Like, the background is more of a lilac colour on the drawing tablet, but it looks more pink on OBS. Also, please excuse me, I need to go stretch my legs. <laughs> I'll be right back in just a minute. Thing. <laughs> and I got excited. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Yeah, you just thought making cute bingo tickets for people to use would be fun, but Pokemon Company said, no, stop doing things for fun. This is a Pokemon, this is a Pokemon like get together and championship. This is not a place for fun. This is a place for boring <laughs> business stuff. Oh my God, that was loud. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bit bits, Fen, but <laughs> that sound effect is so bloody loud. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, I'm turning that down. That's way too loud. <laughs> it's a weasel. Already got you. Oh! Um, I think I just killed this person. Where am I supposed to go from here? From non-existence? I haven't got a clue. I'm just aimlessly wandering. 
Are you sure you're not a ghost at this point? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Welcome back to the world of the living. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges. So I've taken greater pride in improving them. Nice smile, Aloy. <laughs> right, I'm back. So... Can't wait to be able to, like, also upgrade my setup so that I can actually use my standing desk. <laughs> then I won't need to be getting up to, like, go and just stretch my legs from being, like, sat still. <laughs> right, so... Blob Sire. Right. So yeah, the flames are looking good, but I mean, they need a bit more than just red. <laughs> So let's swap out the red the red for more like yellow. Uh, hmm. Let's go with something like that. I should probably actually put these in a folder called flames. <laughs> right, so flames. Also, this is not line work, this is color now. <laughs> color orange flames. Or red. Red or orange? Okay, it's red slash orange flames. <laughs> Let's do that there. It's nice how you have like a full view of like what the <laughs> whole picture kind of looks like in the corner there. Anyway, so color yellow-ish flames. <laughs> right, so turn down the correction. Oh no, turn no keep the correction. No! Correction at 40, please. So, like this. So, like, oh, not too full. He's looking so cool. Thank you. I'm glad you, you like him. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what exactly this is going to look like in the end, but let's let's just stick with it and just see how it looks. I don't know. A funny thing with me is that I actually have aphantasia, which if you don't know what it is, it basically means like you can't picture things in your head. Like um it like like if you try to like imagine something in your head some people apparently can actually see the thing like in their vision whereas others can't like it's like a varying degree of thing like that i see nothing at all so when i like think about something and what it will look like i can't see it like in my head at all I need to actually draw it to be able to know what it even looked like. So yeah, I had no idea what Blob Sire here was going to look like. Like, until I drew him now. And there's been plenty of times that I've thought of things and thought, oh yeah, those would look cool. And I drew them and was like, oh, that is absolutely terrible. Why did I ever think that would be good? <laughs> Wow, that's so interesting, because you would have thought with art you could visualize before you do it. Nope, I can't visualize at all. 
I felt like the whole thing of like, picture this in your mind was just a figure of speech to just think about what this thing will look like. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of people in art actually have that fantasia. Like it's not exactly rare. But a lot of people who are like really artistic don't have it and I imagine that's quite helpful to them. <laughs> but yep, doesn't help me at all. So everything I draw might look like absolute shit until I draw it and realize it didn't doesn't look that bad. I'm just shit at drawing. <laughs> I don't think I'm that bad at drawing, like... Oh, when I start- like, when, before I like got the hang of drawing, I was way worse. Like, way, way worse. <laughs> like, I was stick figure level of, like, bad. <laughs> like, I literally could not draw anything else. But yeah, it does take a lot of practice. And I know I'm far from the best, but at least I'm not as bad as I used to be. <laughs> I feel like there should, there should be a bit of a gap there. Alright, so now I need to go back and fill these in. Oh, get rid of the anti-aliasing. In. I feel like I've kind of gotten a, like a bit of a better hang about what would look good versus what wouldn't look good. It's like yeah when I was younger like a lot of things that I would think about drawing would just feel like so like busy or like just clashing with each other like you know clashing colors where they don't belong so yeah like i've kind of gotten a better hang about like what colors go well with other colors or if you want clashing like what colors would clash the best or just look strange i don't know I hope no one's taking this advice. Well, advice. This is just me just thinking out loud pretty much. Just about like act, like it being actual like how you do art. Because I honestly don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> like I remember when I was younger. Like I literally like have like TV shows like recorded on like DVD and stuff. And I'd like pause them. At like certain moments so that I could like just draw like what I see on the TV so yeah that was fun unfortunately I don't have most of those drawings anymore yeah I do have some of them still Sorry, your laptop died. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I was just thinking, like, pretty much thinking out loud about, like, drawing. <laughs> Mentioned that when I was a kid, like, I just... Like, when I was, like, watching TV, I'd, like, pause it on, like, certain, like, moments that I wanted to draw. So that was fun. And I do have a few of those drawings left from when I was younger, but yeah, most of them unfortunately have kind of been lost to time. <laughs> I've moved a lot of times in my life, so I've had a lot of opportunities for things to get lost permanently. <laughs> yeah. Alright. 
so that's the flames drawn. And yeah, the flames look good. So I like to add like a little bit of a glow effect. Like when I draw flames. Uh, so glow. Don't know how this is going to look. Like the glow from flames is something I'm still kind of like working on. It's a shame I lost them. Yeah, I've lost a lot of things like moving, moving home like a million times. <laughs> That might be a decent color. Like I like to give like a bit of like a misty effect behind the flames here. I feel like if I change the color of the background that might be better, but I need I need to use this as a swatch. Alright, so let's change the background to something dark. Uh, yeah, like that. Alright. Yeah, pretty much just turn the lights out. <laughs> so. Uh, ooh, no, wrong. I don't want the pen, I want the airbrush. So I feel like this color is a bit too pink. I think I want it to be a bit more like like that. Uh, oh, now I do want the pen back. Yeah, something like that. Change that to red. Yeah, something like that. Okay, airbrush. Turn off that. Get that filled in a bit better. <laughs> the glow is glowing now. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, I don't want the glow to be like, you know, massive, like it's illuminating the whole area. It's just like a little, like, haze effect behind the flames. Just to like have that feel that they're glowing around them, but not too brightly. <clears throat> Got me a drink. Also, I'm kind of shrimping again. <laughs> Maybe I should like raise the table up just a little bit. Like that, rather. So I'm not standing. I'm still sat in the chair, but like, yeah. I feel like this is honestly a bit better on my back. Honestly, that the table's not too low down. All right. So a little bit of touch up here. I feel like it should be quite thick, like between the flames, like this. And with this, I'm going to do the same again, but behind the yellow. Just to see how this looks, but I don't want it too big. How big is this? This is 30. Let's go down to 20. Yeah, that looks good, I think. So there is still a bit of like a like an obvious like boundary like right here but there's still like the glow effect here like fire is not a physical object so it feels like right to make sure that everything 
Like, fire kind of breaks the rules when it's like you're drawing it. So that it doesn't look like a physical object unless that's how you want it to look. Also, make sure I clean that up a bit. I can see, like, Claude Sire's mouth here. Because <laughs> the background I don't think is actually black. I think it's like a weird dark grey that I just arbitrarily made. is quite chilled out isn't it but my neck is beginning to ache a little bit that's not normal <laughs> i think i'm just sh like got such bad posture and i'm shrimping so bad it's actually going to get to my neck a little bit <laughs> it's kind of hard not to shrimp when you're drawing <laughs> Or like anything that you kind of want your face as close as possible but then again I can easily just zoom in if I need things a bit bigger a little bit of overflow down there I'll get that in just a second all right clean that up nice Right, so I also want to turn off, uh, get rid of that. Uh, shrimping too. <laughs> uh, need to do that stretching, redeem. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Like. <sighs> Hailing from an alternate future where the world was recreated by AI. In a region that has become filled with flame and brine, Blob Sire enjoys living in lava, where it becomes so relaxed its body begins to lose its shape a little. When this happens, Blob Sire appears to be in a state of utter bliss. <laughs> yeah, there's a like arbitrary uh, Pokedex entry I threw together before I started the stream. Alright, so let's, let's turn the lights back on, essentially. <laughs> Need to be able to see. Alright, also the sketch lines are still there. Alright, so next up I'm gonna do the rocks. So I'm gonna go to Mega Camera up here to get some colour inspiration. Like some grey rocks. Like that. So now I need to make a folder here called colors and have a new folder colors a color rocks so glowy all <laughs> yeah I'm looking forward to like like when there's like a glowy effect like this like I like to put it with like a dark background after I'm done just to see how that looks because like having it with like quite a light background like this does feel a bit like you can't see the glow quite as well but oh I don't want that I want the pen size 7 and fill in these rocks This shouldn't take long. Knock, knock. Ooh. Knock, knock. Sven's still around. Newt newting away. <laughs> hey Becky, how you doing today?
you knew it was an art stream. Yes, you did. <laughs> and this is what I've got so far. <laughs> well done, you figured it out. <laughs> right, so... Where was I? I was doing... Right, so Claude Sire has this weird, like, two-tone color going on. Water <laughs> would be nice! Time for a drink. Oh my god, it's dark in here. I just looked around the office and I'm like, whoa, it's dark. Yeah, it's a really gloomy day here where I am, so it's been really dark all day. <laughs> Right, so uh, so yeah, Clotzire has this like two tone like finger about him. Uh, oh, that's a bit too zoomed in. <laughs> so yeah, I want to have that reflected in his color. So I was kind of thinking I'd give him like a maybe an orange like top and a yellow bottom. I'm not sure. I'll just start like giving him the orange top just to see how it goes. Because I can always change it. I can easily change the color. So orange skin. Yeah. Orange skin. Turn on the color correction. And... It's not a bit too wavy. Yeah, something like that, maybe? Hmm. I feel like that little bit at the end is not wavy enough. So I want that to be yellow, yellow and then it's like that. Alright, that looks good. I want it to be like a bit more lined up with like these like weird folds I've got going on here. What program am I using? I'm using um, Medibang. Uh, Medibang Paint Pro. I'll just type it in the chat. Medibang Paint Pro. It is free. Um. So yeah, like, if you want to try it out, it's free to use. So, yeah, go ahead. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I kind of want to make the color a little bit misaligned from Claude Sire. Because he's like, you know, he's melting. Oh, no, he's not melting. He's... Uh, misshapen, I guess the word, a better word is. So I fill that in there. Thank you, free is always a bonus. Yeah, it's nice and easy for you just to try out if you want to try it out. I use like a combination of this and paint.net when I'm drawing because there's a couple of things paint.net can do that Medibang can't do or at least doesn't appear to be able to do so yeah but most of my actual drawing is done on Medibang itself. Um, I do feel it is kind of one of those like programs that's like 
it might be a bit overwhelming to someone who's not used it before, but, you know, with a bit of practice, like, it's a pretty good program. Fairly simple. If you take the time to learn it, that is. <laughs> Alright, so like that, and a fold here. Uh, I think that's good. Alright, so... Uh, got a fair bit of colouring in to do here now. I feel like the background needs to be a different colour. I feel like I should change it to blue. Yeah, I change the background depending on like what I'm currently colouring in essentially because I want the background to be as contrasting to what I'm actually drawing as possible. So yeah, for something that like I'm colouring in using orange, so like blue is a good contrast so I can see like, like here, you can see like there's like little holes that are like easy to spot. Kind of makes it look a tiny bit like Quagsire now, because it's blue. But yeah, filling in him in orange. Yeah, there's another bit of hole sticking through. And here. And there. Like that. It there. Nice. Now fill it in. <laughs> Zoom out a bit. I don't think this is going to like compete with like Claude Sire for like how cute it is because um, like <laughs> I might be weird but I feel like Claude Sire is honestly one of the cutest Pokemon there is. <laughs> so, but yeah I'm not trying to make this look cute like to compete with Claude Sire because Claude like <laughs> He's still, I feel like he's still cute in his own way. Like, look at that face. Look at that face I've managed to draw. How is that not cute? The orange and blue are like actually an interesting match right here. Huh. Maybe it could. Like, I was picturing that, like, Claude Sire. Uh, Blob Sire <laughs> would probably be like a like a fire ground type. Because like Clod Sire and Quag Sire are both ground types, so I was thinking of keeping that going. But maybe like he would still have some blue in him. Hmm. Actually now that I think about it, no. I, d I didn't really picture him to be much of a swimmer. Like in the water of the burning shores, he'd be like in the the lava of the burning shores. Uh, that needs a little bit of a tidy up. Oh, and the aliasing, please. There we go. Yeah. So let's just stick with that just for now. I should probably color in his mouth, actually. Uh, I'll just borrow this. <laughs> Why are you blue? What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? Alright, so color mouth. I know it's a little window thing to rename the layers isn't popping up on the stream. Well, either way, it's just simply a little text box that like when I double click on a layer it just pops up with it. So then I can type in like what I want the layer to be named. 
See, so yeah, it's not like you're missing much. There we go. So now I'll also... So yeah, orange skin, and then this one will be yellow skin. I don't know how well these are going to go together, but we'll see. I'll probably, like, experiment a bit, like, after I've coloured this in fully to try to get, like, the right two colours. Yeah, I'm already thinking yellow might not be quite right. <laughs> or at least not this yellow. of the way his feet like stick out of his own blob <laughs> his own blobbiness <laughs> but yeah I've got, I do have like a couple of ideas for like Pokemon that I could try drawing on an art stream every once in a while yeah most of them would be like you know like relatives of a pre-existing Pokemon, so I've got something easy to like use as like a base. Because like, me and my Aphantasia, I really need references. So if I'm like designing a whole new Pokemon with no inspiration from a pre-existing Pokemon, I'm not gonna draw that well. Ooh. You request Blobsire Whooper. <laughs> Whopper? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you want me to draw like a burger from like, you know, Burger King, the Whopper, but make it Blobsire? <laughs> oh my god, like, <laughs> like you take, like, hang on. Like you take, uh, like, you know, Blobs uh, Blobsire, Cl Claude Sire here. And like design a burger that's like, you know, the lower bun and the upper bun. <laughs> and it's like a burger from Burger King. Like that would be really weird to like draw like like Claude Sire as a burger. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should actually note that down. Hey Simply Sweet, how you doing today? <laughs> Alright, I feel like this is actually looking quite nice. Um, but like... Part of me does wonder if there would be a better colour scheme for it. Art stream! Woo! <laughs> maybe when I add the shadows, maybe that would help me a bit more, like decide on colours. So like, here's the color I use for making shadows with. So... Shadows. Alright, so... Just drawing a little bit of shadow in there. And here. And then like... Just a little bit around here to like highlight how this rock is not as like kind of like sticking out slightly from Blobsire and leaving like a tiny bit of a shadow behind. I feel like that should be a lot thinner. Like that. Yeah, I do feel that the shadows help, like, things feel separate from the things around them. So, like, these rocks being, like... Like, embedded in its skin, like, Blobsire's skin, but still separate from its skin. To still feel... distinct.
I feel like the shadows are honestly kind of the, one of the most boring parts of drawing. <laughs> well, at least like for design like Claude Sire, it's not going to be that complicated. Like reasonably simple. Yeah, the shadows should be especially thin along the flames because the flames would kind of like slightly kill the shadow a little bit and enhance the shadow on the other side. Like something like that. Like that. Also, I for kind of forgot, like, like that. And the shadow needs to extend a bit further like that. Okay. So, like this, and along here, and then curved a little bit like that. as thin as possible around there. Right. Next up, these two little rocks. Oh, three little rocks. <laughs> So, last one. There we go. All right, so. Yeah, can't really notice the difference, but then again, I did just draw grey on top of grey. It would be more, well, I could just show you right now, like soft light like that. Like there, you can actually see the shadow effect now. But that's all I've got so far. <laughs> like there's more, like these folds need to have shadowing on them. But before that, I will start with like this part. It's like, oh my god, you know what he actually makes me, making me think of? It's making me think of a banana slug right now. Him being like this yellow. <laughs> Maybe I should keep that actually. I'm kind of like going a little bit back and forth as to like what color he should actually be. I don't know, I feel like because I thought of the banana slug, Thing, that maybe he should stay yellow now. I feel like that's a bit too sharp. I feel like sticking with 10 is probably a good thickness. Alright, I'll do the folds in just a minute. I'll continue with like the main shadow all around his body. Yeah, like that. And then just like a little shadow here between his toes. Not on not like that. that and like this yeah like that oh sorry bump my mouse with the way my layout is like the keyboard is kite in the way I suppose I could just move the keyboard like aside 
like over there so the mouse is a bit more accessible for me because I don't really need the keyboard when I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm really relieved that this is actually going as well as it is. Because I was quite worried that this was not going to go well. With like... You know, like, I was hoping to be able to have this as another option I could do. But I was thinking that without the new computer I wouldn't be able to do it. Because my computer's a potato. Like, if I open, like, one extra window while I'm streaming, my, com my stream will lag like hell. But this seems surprisingly smooth, at least as far as I can tell. Like, I don't really understand. Like, it's my, my computer is just weird. See, I was honestly expecting this to be a bust. And was kind of mentally prepared a bit for it. But no, I'm actually like quite happily surprised. Sorry, I keep bumping the mic. Yeah, my layout is a little bit weird for drawing. <laughs> yeah, I've just got the mic like right in front of my head, but because my head is moving around all the time, it's making it quite easy to accidentally bump it. <laughs> oh well, there's unfortunately not much I can do. Move out that shadow a bit better. Continue along here. There's a nice simple spot. Okay, and here's where it starts to get thinner. go. Just fill this in. That gets a full shadow because it's like quite far behind. Like that. I think that will look okay. Sure. No, I'm pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Something like this. I think that looks decent. Right. Also, I want to give him a bit of a shadow on his lip. Just fall. Wait, am I on the right layer? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's happened way too many times that I've like done like all the sh shading and shadowing, only to realize I had drawn it all on the wrong layer and there was no saving it. That is truly one of the most painful feelings ever. <laughs> like. Potentially like an hour of work just ruined in an instant. Well, not really in an instant, but like... It's like all going so well and then all of a sudden your feeling of it's going so well is just gone. Alright, so now time to do these folds. Having like a bit of a shadow on them. Give his nose like a little bit of a shadow. Like that. I feel 
where it dips down should have a bit of a sharper shadow as opposed to these having quite thin shadow. Hmm. I think the yellow skin here is overflowed a little bit. Yeah, I think it did. And so is the shadow. Uh, no, it hasn't. Wait, what? All these little grey pixels about them. Oh, I think it's just the yellow did not quite fill it in enough. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, so pick that back up again. Shadows. Right, that looks good. I give him like a little bit of a shadow over the eyes, like that. Wait. Oh shit, the eyes are on the wrong layer. Oh well. like folds. Like that. Okay. How long have I been streaming for? Two hours! <laughs> Ooh, I've been drawing this for about two hours. That actually, why am I surprised? That actually does sound about right for me, honestly. Yeah, drawing is not exactly the shortest pastime ever, is it? <laughs> these folds down here too. There we go. Oh. Ooh, what's this here about? Is that a hole in the yellow? No. What's that then? Does that line work? It is. Oops. <laughs> right, shadows. Uh, go back here and just grab some grey. And back here. I'm shrimping again. <laughs> <sighs> Stop shrimping. Raise the table back. Raise the table up a bit higher. There we go. gonna look like when I turn these grey things into actual shadows. You are gonna look interesting. Your mouth looks a bit wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the way that mouth looks. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. And that looks a bit better. Yeah, it looks better. Okay then. So, uh, yeah, your eyes look okay. Hmm. It looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking at the colors, thinking could the colors be a little bit better? Uh, I'm just gonna. Let's make some swatches here to like choose from. 
So here, I'm just going to quickly there, just so I can easily change them back if I want to. Now let's try going for a bit more of a, a bit more of a red orange and see how this looks. Oh, turn that off, please. And then that. And let's turn the yellow a bit more vibrant, too. Hmm. I think I like the other color better, but maybe if the orange was not quite as red. Hmm. What's going on there? Is that the shadow? It is the shadow. Hmm. You can barely see the shadow. The yellow is so vibrant. Yeah. Maybe a bit more like that. Hmm. I'm gonna take a swatch of this. Yeah, I feel like this might look a bit better. Uh, but what if I was actually red and orange? You look a bit burnt there. Cheese and tomato blob sire. <laughs> Let's take in the same orange as before. Hmm. Interesting. The red is far too vibrant though, so let's tone it down a bit. Maybe a bit more than that. Well, I guess a good thing with um Pokemon is that you can easily make, uh, you know, the shiny. So if there's two color schemes you like, you can easily make one of them shiny. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Sure. Maybe if the orange was a bit more red and not quite like that, and it was like that, like. Uh, ooh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. That's too brown. That's too dull. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it could, like, orange and yellow could be, like, the standard. And then, like, you know, red and orange could be the shiny. But also, what about grey? Like, you know, like obsidian. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is... I think that's a bit too dark. <laughs> Yeah, make it l make it like a grey like that, and then like a bit more of an ashy grey underside. Hmm, that's also quite cool. Get yeah, charcoal. <laughs> yeah, I quite like that actually, but hmm, I forgot to take a swatch of these. Red and orange. Okay, now let's change you back to this and this. How 
That also looks pretty good too. Red and grey? Ooh, red and grey could be interesting. Like, if it's like underside was red, maybe? Hmm, maybe not quite that vibrantly red. Maybe if it was a bit more of an orangey red, like this. Maybe a bit more red. Hmm. Kind of does, kind of, it kind of does fit with like the look of it being like, you know, it, like sitting in the lava and like this upper part is where, is the part that's exposed. Hmm. Maybe if the upper part was a bit more light grey. Hmm. You really like it? I'm not too sure about it, honestly. The the grey and red. Like I. Hmm. Maybe if they were swapped. Take the swatches. Yeah, if they were swapped, would that look better? To me at least. And now he's all red. <laughs> Sunburnt blob sire. And turn his underside grey. Hmm. Those darker colours look really nice, you think? What about grey and yellow? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, let's flip it around the other way as well. Banana Sire. Uh, oh. Can I... I... Okay. Pick that and make the... Hmm... I'm not sure... <laughs> I do feel that these... Like... This one... And... Oh, that's the correct yellow. <laughs> I feel like that looks quite nice for like, you know, the standard colour. What about with an orangey yellow with the grey? Orangey yellow. So like... That looks a bit dull. Like that. What about brown? Like, you know, the act like Claude Sire's actual brown, like on the top, maybe. With maybe orange on the bottom. Ooh, that looks Ooh, I actually quite like that. It also does kind of like... Water even... would be nice! Alright then. Yeah, I feel like the original Claude Sire Brown is honestly quite nice. So many like different things like it could be and all of them look good in their own way. I should probably save. I think it's been a little while since I last saved. Hmm. What if I change the orange to red? No. <laughs> yeah, 
keep feeling so unsure. Hmm. What's the time? Half four, pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like literally just staring at him and thinking like which color should be what. I feel like the flames are definitely good. I didn't realize there was an elephant around. Yeah, I feel like... Like, I, w I did initially say that this was quite good, like the orange and yellow. Like, I did say that looks good, but I do... It does kind of make him look like a banana slug. <laughs> Which does seem cool in a way, but it kind of does take away a little bit from like the lava thing, because lava doesn't tend to be quite this like light in color. It tends to be very red. I need to head out, but it's been nice chilling and watching me draw. It's been such a great stream. <laughs> Thank you, and thank you for hanging out. And I hope that your project's been going well. And I hope you're feeling better quickly. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, Lottie. And I'll see you, see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of going against the banana slug one now. What did the red and yellow, red and orange look like again? <laughs> Cheese and tomato blob sire again. Hmm. I do feel that the red is still too vibrant though. Like that, or maybe a bit more orange like like that <laughs> hmm and then there was this one God, it's not often that I'm quite torn on like what colour it should be. And there was also the one I had of like actual Clodsire colour. Like on the top instead. I should probably also like take the background and make it a dark color to like help highlight the glow. Maybe not too dark. Oh my god. <laughs> I've literally made it the same gray as everything else. Having completely black is just wrong. Like that, maybe? Hmm. What if it was orange on top? <laughs> hmm, no, that looks silly to me. <laughs> uh. I feel like I'm honestly leaning towards like actual Clodsire like top. Like 
this. I feel like I'm leaning towards this, kind of, honestly. You're trying to think of a reference for a colour scheme, but you can't think. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a bit of trouble deciding as well. Like, what exactly this should look like. Maybe if I made the gray, like red a bit more like this, like, ooh, okay, no, 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 that doesn't look right at all. Update Twitch, Lurk. Okay, no problem, Sven. I'm thinking the stream is probably gonna end shortly, like, once I decide on colors. <laughs> E. Yeah, knowing that now, now knowing that I can draw on Medibang, no problem. I can do this whenever I want. If you're stuck between two, make one a shiny. <laughs> yeah. I am thinking like against this one. Like, oh, oh shit. Oh, wrong layer. Like that? Like I am thinking like... This one is probably the best. Least. That we can seem to think of. Maybe this colour could be a bit more dark to indicate like it's more wet mud. Whoops. I'm gonna turn it down but not too far. Hmm. Maybe a bit more. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Nah. Er, uh, actually. Hmm. This does make him look like he's like dirty, like, Clotsire is all about mud, so maybe it would make sense for like, you know, this like very like dull red, like very grey red, to make quite a lot of sense that it's like mud, oops, sorry, whack the mic, mud that is so hot that it's beginning to like glow because it's so hot. Yeah, I feel like I actually quite like this in particular right now. <laughs> so, just put this up in the swatches. I feel like I quite like that. So it does give like the muddy appearance that is quite indicative of Claude Sire. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Before I get rid of those, if that's gonna be the one I go with. So, like. Have you no moral fiber? <laughs> oh, do you not like it? Do we get art redeems? Just wondering. Oh, boy. Ooh, that would have to be very expensive for me to like stop the stream to change to drawing something like that. So like those are the normal colors and I guess this could be the shiny. Yeah, 
I suppose that could be the shiny, except maybe the red should be a bit less vibrant red and be a bit more like, oh, a bit more like that. So it's almost like he's become lava. I feel like that's actually a good shiny. You have 12,000. <laughs> Maybe there could be a point where I might take, like... <laughs> uh... Like, suggestions on, like, what to draw? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to have a think about it. I feel like the fire shouldn't change with the shiny. Like maybe event maybe I will do like a plan for like there to be Oh, okay. I'll draw in yellow orange then. Shiny. Yeah, so I think I think we got it. I think we got a uh, blob sire here. Like done. So this is the shiny and, well, I could like, just, uh, give me a second. Uh, brain, please work. Wait, hang on. Where is this? Oh, no, not that one. Oh, I see, it's right here. Is like, yeah, the line work. Who cares? <laughs> it's like so minor that, yeah, it wouldn't even make any difference if I tried to fix it. Anyway, so I'm going to get rid of the background. I'll also, no, no hang on. Turn off the swatch layer. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Uh, having just a little hiccup. Crop. Yes. Okay. Export, and I will just quickly do this. You can't see it, but I'm going to. S I'm just say. I'm just exporting these images. So that, and now I want to do the normal one. Uh, colors, orange skin, which is actually more like upper skin. I should, yeah, probably rename that. Upper skin and lower skin. There we go. And recolor you, the upper skin to this like grey and this to like the muddy orange. Yeah. And with that, just... Oh, it started raining outside. Okay, crop, export, there we go, so let's bring it, oh my god the table's so high to be like looking at the 
There we go. <laughs> Lower the table back down so I can actually use the monitor properly. So let's bring out... Uh... Here he is. <laughs> Let me just hide Medibang actually. So here's Blobsire and just give me a second, I will bring out a shiny Blobsire. There we go. There they are. <laughs> Blob sh Blobshire? What is this, a town in the UK? I'll just shrink you down a bit so that you can be seen like that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that went. Sir Blobsire of Blobshire. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> right. So, with that, that went surprisingly well, if you ask me. Like I said, I wasn't exactly expecting that this would be super successful, but I think it went really well for my first art stream. Yeah, I might draw, um, uh, like, the Burning Shores Whooper, like, another day. And I don't think it would be, really be that different from, you know, like, the actual, like, Paldean and Jotonian Whooper. Like, I'd probably just take the Whooper of, like, Paldean Whooper and then, like, color it with like these colors and make its gills like you know flame shaped or something <laughs> something like that i don't know i feel like it wouldn't really be that different but i could do it for like just a little bit of a fun thing it probably won't take anywhere near as long as this because this took like two and a half hours to draw <laughs> yeah i'm quite happy with how it went all right Let's see, who shall I raid? Yeah, thank you so much for everyone for watching. I definitely think I can add art streams to my like rotation. I've got a couple of ideas for what else I could draw. <laughs> Have a great evening. You too, Becky. You too. Let's send it over to Lavender. She's playing Pokemon Scarlet. Can't quite tell what she's doing, though. But yeah, let's start the raid. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for everyone for watching and for watch like for me doing my first art stream. Let's... <laughs> thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!